Today, I will tell you about the new enemy paramilitary formations. At the peak of the popularity of the Wagner Group, the occupiers began to appear various private military companies, and the occupied Crimea was no exception. The so-called head of the annexed Crimea created his own paramilitary structure, PMC Convoy. It is commanded by Konstantin Pykalov, call sign Mazai, who used to supervise the Wagnerites in Africa. He is also a right hand of Yevgeny Prigoshan, the founder of the Wagner PMC. The purpose of the so-called PMC convoy is not so much combat operations against the AFU, as the protection of looted property on the peninsula. The same applies to other so-called PMCs formed in Russia. Ukrainian intelligence assumes the beginning of large-scale Russian internal showdown between all these private armies, but this scenario will be possible only after a complete defeat of the enemy armed forces on the territory of Ukraine. And I think it is necessary to tell you about them, since they will most likely still appear after the start of the counter-attack on the Crimean Peninsula. Before I continue, I ask you to subscribe to my channel, it will help to promote it. In the fall of 2022, a new type of unit began to appear within the Russian forces, as well as among the gangs in the occupied territories, which were menacingly called Storm. This formidable something was, in fact, a semblance of a reinforced company or an unfinished battalion tactical group. At first glance, it would seem that the units were being created as part of the Russian army's plan to focus solely on ground assault operations, based on the experience it had gained in 2022. In fact, there was no talk of any experience, as it had been proven through combat that the enemy forces were not trainable. The appearance of units like Storm was a consequence of the growing shortage of equipment in the Russian army, but not a consequence of the innovation of their gloomy genius. It is an element of hopelessness in the staffing of the battalion tactical group, but it is not some cunning and devious plan. The functionality of Storm units was molded from what was available to the Second World Army. Accordingly, efficiency with indicators tending toward zero, they were not long in coming. All this because when you transferred effective Soviet Kalka to the conditions of modern combat operations, you end up with an understaffed Soviet standard. Which had been improved already in the Russian army by crooked hands, but is absolutely inapplicable in modern warfare. But the main thing is not this, but that the appearance of these homunculi was a consequence of the impossibility of completing. Considering that the situation in the Russian army is deteriorating every day, I am not surprised that a Sturm or Strudel unit on the T-5455 will soon appear. The degradation of the enemy continues to show itself in all its glory, 